Welcome to a new series of Break It Down. This is episode 1 and the topic for today is cell structure. In your biology textbooks, it is probably the first chapter too. I will be going through questions obtained throughout the span of 10 years from 2010 to 2020. If you are new, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and finally watch and learn. What else are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Also, do ignore the question numbers to the sides as I will be going one after the other. Okay, so the first question we have over here is, the diagram shows a stage micrometer on which the small divisions are 0.1 mm. It is viewed through an eyepiece containing a graticule. The stage micrometer is replaced by a slide of a plant cell. What is the length of the nucleus? As you can see over here, I have marked in red the nucleus of this plant cell. And as you can see, the nucleus is approximately 10 divisions of the eyepiece graticule. In order to find the length of the nucleus, we first have to calibrate this given stage micrometer and the eyepiece graticule. 40 divisions is equal to 100 micrometers since 40 divisions is equal to 0.1 millimeter. As you can see, each division is 0.1 millimeter. And in order to convert from millimeter to micrometer, you have to multiply by 1000 as 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometers. Therefore, you will get 40 divisions that is from 10 to 50 is equal to 100 micrometer therefore one division is equal to 2.5 micrometer which is 100 divided by 40 since the nucleus covers 10 divisions of the eyepiece graticule we finally multiply 10 by 2.5 micrometers to give the length as 25 micrometer the answer is c Question 2. In the following table, which is the correct comparison between light and electron microscopes? A key thing you should remember is that electron microscope will have a higher resolution and a higher magnification than the light microscope. Hence, if we go to the answers A, B, C and D, electron microscope having higher resolution and high magnification, that leaves us with the answer being B. The next question. The diagram shows a stage micrometer with division 0.1 mm apart viewed through an eyepiece containing a graticule. The same eyepiece is now used to examine a blood smear. How many graticule divisions will cover the diameter of a white cell of 10 micrometer? First thing you need to find is for one graticule division, what is the measurement in micrometer? And once you get that answer, you divide by 10 to get the number of divisions of the white cell. It is the same as the first question we did. So 40 divisions is equal to 0.1 millimeter or 100 micrometer. Therefore, one division will be equal to 2.5 micrometer. Since they have given the diameter of a white cell being 10 micrometer, 10 divided by 2.5 micrometer will give you four graticule divisions for the diameter of a white cell. Therefore, the answer is B. Next question. The diagram below is drawn from an electron micrograph of an animal cell which represents the same cell seen under a light microscope at 400 magnification. If viewing is done using slides under light microscope, only the nucleus would be seen. As only in the electron microscope, you will be able to view the mitochondrion as well as the endoplasmic reticulum. Therefore, since they are talking about light microscope at 400 magnification, and if you have done viewing slides under light microscopes, you will realize that the answer is C. This is the fifth question we are doing. A cell organelle measures 4 into 10 to the power minus 1 millimeter in diameter. What is the diameter in micrometer? Key thing you should remember is that 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometers. Since they are asking this given measurement which is in millimeter to be given in micrometer, the answer will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 1 times 10 to the power 3 or times 1000 which will give you the answer as 4 into 10 to the power 2 or 400 micrometers. Hence the answer is B. Question number 6. The magnification of the photomicrograph is 4000. What is the actual size of the nucleolus? Since the image size could vary according to the type of screen you are using, I have given the actual image size which is 8 millimeters. And if you look at the answers, all the answers are in micrometers. So first you have to convert the given image size that is in millimeters to micrometers. Since 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometers, when you convert from 8 to micrometers, you will get 8000 micrometers. And once you substitute the given magnification as well as the image size into the equation, magnification is equal to image size upon actual size, you will get the actual size as 2 micrometers, hence the answer is B. Question 7. A microscope has a resolution of 200 nanometers. 
which of the following organelles would not be resolved using this microscope? Going through the answers A, B, C and D, it would be ribosomes as ribosomes has the smallest size out of all the given structures and that is 25 nanometers. Therefore, the answer is D. Next question. The diagram is a drawing from an electron micrograph of a cell. Which structure indicates that this is a secretory cell? Secretory cell is indicated by the given structure which is vesicle. And if you go to the answers A, B, C and D, only B represents a vesicle. And if there are vesicles present, that means it is a secretory cell. Hence, the answer is B. Question 9. Which statement about the light microscope is correct? A. As the smallest distance you see two points, as distinct separate points decreases, the resolution also decreases. That is obviously an incorrect statement. As the distance between two points decreasing has nothing to do with resolution changing, as the resolution only changes when the wavelength of the light source changes. That is, if the wavelength is longer, then the resolution will be less. If the wavelength is shorter, then the resolution will be high. Therefore, A is incorrect. B. If the resolution is 220 nanometers, then a bacterium 0.2 micrometer in diameter will not be visible. That is a correct statement. As if the bacterium's diameter is 0.2 micrometer, that will be 200 nanometers. As first of all, you have to convert the given sizes into the same unit. 1 micrometer is equal to 1000 nanometers. Therefore, once you convert 0.2 micrometer to nanometer, you get 200 nanometers. And since 200 is less than 220 nanometers, which is the resolution, you will not be able to see the bacterium because only structures that are greater than the resolution size will be visible. Therefore, B is the correct choice. Question 10. Which size ranges can be viewed using a light microscope? They have given the scale, which is from 1 nanometer to 1 millimeter. It would be convenient if you convert the given size ranges into one unit, that is, all in nanometers 1 micrometer would be equal to 1000 nanometers 100 micrometer would be equal to 10,000 nanometers and so on and since the resolution of a light microscope is generally 200 nanometers it would only allow size ranges that are above the resolution that is above 200 to be visible therefore the answer would be size ranges 3 and 4 only because 3 is from 1000 nanometers to 10,000 nanometers which is above 200 nanometers and obviously 1 millimeter is the greatest size range over here therefore it will be visible as you proceed from left to right the size range increases why is 1 and 2 not visible if you look at 1 1 nanometer 200 nanometers that is less than the resolution hence not visible answers with 1 is incorrect 2 again 2 is between 100 nanometers and 1000 nanometers Therefore, since it is between 100 and 1000, that size range is not satisfied because the resolution of a light microscope is 200 nanometers. Therefore, it cannot include 100 or anything between 100 and 1000 nanometers. Therefore, above 1000, that size range can be visible. Hence, the answer is D, 3 and 4 only. Question 11. The diagram shows a mitochondrion drawn from an electron micrograph. The length of the mitochondrion from X to Y is 3000 nanometers. What is the magnification of the drawing of the mitochondrion? Since the image size could vary according to the type of screen you're using, the image size I have mentioned over here is 3 cm, which is the actual image size. Therefore, since they have given the actual size as 3000 nanometers, you would have to convert either the image size or the actual size to one unit and then proceed. So if you convert the image size into nanometers, then you get 3 into 10 to the power 7 nanometers and once you substitute the given values into the formula magnification is equal to image size upon actual size you will get the answer as 10,000 that is the magnification is 10,000 hence the answer is C question 12 what is not a limitation of an electron microscope the keyword over here is not limitation is rather a disadvantage and since they're asking what is not a limitation, it should be an advantage. Therefore, if you go to the answers A, B, C and D, answers A, B and C are limitations because they describe a disadvantage of using an electron microscope. However, D, there is an increase in resolution and magnification compared with a light microscope. Now that is an advantage 
Therefore, it is not a limitation, leaving us with the answer being D. Next question, what best describes an electron microscope in comparison with a light microscope? Now remember, electron microscope has both a higher resolution and a higher magnification than light microscope. Hence, if you go to the answers A, B, C and D, the best answer over here is answer A. Magnification is higher, resolution is higher. Question 14. When making measurements in experiments, which methods could have parallax errors? I have done this question in one of my past paper videos and if you recall correctly, statement 1 is obviously incorrect. Using a calibrated eyepiece reticule to measure length because you are viewing at right angles at the eyepiece lens, therefore no parallax errors can be possible as there are no different positions where to place your eye. However, 2 and 3, the position where you place your eye can be different. Hence, due to differences in eye judgment, 2 and 3 could lead to parallax errors. Therefore, the answer is C, 2 and 3 only. Question 15. What are the appropriate units for measuring diameters of alveoli, diameters of white blood cells and the width of cell walls? A key thing to note is that the width of a cell wall is 7 nanometers. Therefore, width of cell wall should be measured in nanometers. The diameters of both alveoli and white blood cells are measured in micrometers. Hence, the best answer is C. Question 16. The diagram shows a high power drawing of a bacterium. Which three components are found in both this bacterium and an animal cell? The key word is both. Therefore, obviously answers A, B and C are incorrect because because both capsule and cell wall are only present in the bacterium and not in an animal cell. Leaving us with the best answer that is D. Cell membrane, DNA and ribosome are both present in bacterium and an animal cell. Question 17. Different units are used when measuring biological specimens. In which rows are the same measurements correctly expressed in each of the units shown in the column headings? Let's look at one. 1 mm in micrometer that would be 1 into 10 to the power 3, yes that is correct and in nanometers 1 into 10 to the power 6, yes because 1 mm is equal to 1000 micrometers and 1 micrometer is equal to 1000 nanometers. Therefore if you are converting from millimeter to nanometer you will get 1 into 10 to the power 6, if you are converting from 1 into micrometer you will get 1 into 10 to the power 3, hence 1 is correct. Let's look at 2, 2.5, 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 and 2.5 into 10 to the power 6, yes again they are being multiplied in the correct proportions from millimeter to micrometer multiplying by 1000 that is 10 to the power 3 from millimeter to nanometer multiplying by 10 to the power 6 is also correct because when you're converting from millimeter to nanometer you should multiply it by 1 followed by 6 zeros let's look at 3 5 5 into 10 to the power 4 that is incorrect because when you're converting from millimeter to micrometer it should be 5 into 10 to the power 3 therefore 3 is incorrect let's look at 4 25 2.5 into 10 to the power 4. Yes, because if you are giving it in standard figures, they have changed it from 25 to 2.5. Therefore, it will be one more extra zero followed by 10 to the power 3. Hence, when you are converting from millimeter to micrometer and you are putting it in standard form, it will be 2.5 into 10 to the power 4. That is correct. And 2.5 into 10 to the power 7 because they have shifted a decimal place to the left. Hence, an extra zero gets added to 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power 6. Therefore, the answer is B, 1, 2, and 4 only. Question 18. Which size of ribosome is found in chloroplasts? Key thing to remember is that chloroplasts, mitochondrion, as well as the prokaryotic cells, all three have 70S ribosomes. Hence, the best answer is B, 70S. Next question. The diagram shows a typical animal cell. Each label structure is involved with the synthesis of biological molecules within which structures are glycoproteins, proteins and steroids synthesized. Glycoproteins are obviously done in the Golgi body because the Golgi body takes care of the processing or modification of proteins such as adding a sugar unit to proteins in order to form glycoproteins. Proteins are made in the ribosomes, hence it could be the ribosomes that are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, hence of the RER, that is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Steroids are made in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Both lipids and steroids are synthesized in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Hence, if you go to the answers A, B, C and D, glycoprotein should be structure 2, leaving us with the answer being either A or B, 
proteins obviously structure 3 because ribosomes steroids should be structure 4 because only 4 represents the smooth endoplasmic reticulum whereas 1 represents the mitochondrion which handles the production of ATP not steroids therefore the answer is B question 20 what is correct for a typical prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells they have 70s ribosomes then they have a peptidoglycan cell wall not cellulose because only cellulose is present in plant cell walls not in prokaryotic cell walls hence A and B are incorrect if you look at C and D 70s ribosomes are present only in prokaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells do not have ATS therefore the answer is C question 21 a student has drawn a cell structure as seen using a light microscope the magnification of the drawing is 600 the length of the structure on the drawing is 6 mm what is the actual length of the cell structure if you look at the answers the units are in micrometers therefore you have to convert the given image size which is 6 millimeters into micrometers so 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometers therefore 6 millimeter will be equal to 6000 micrometers hence if you substitute 6000 micrometers as the image size and the magnification given you can find the actual length or the actual size and that answer is 1 into 10 to the power 1 micrometer therefore the answer is C Question 22. The electron micrograph shows part of a eukaryotic cell. Which of the labeled organelles is a site of protein synthesis? Protein synthesis occurs in the ribosomes. And which organelles have ribosomes? Well, the chloroplast and mitochondria both have ribosomes as well. Due to presence of DNA and ribosomes in both chloroplasts and mitochondria, both are able to undergo protein synthesis. And if you look at this electron micrograph, which is of a eukaryotic cell, you can see that there is the presence of a mitochondrion which is structure B because B represents the mitochondrion and as mitochondria have ribosomes of 70S they are able to undergo protein synthesis hence the answer is B next question which structure is only found in typical eukaryotic animal cells if you go to the answers A, B, C and D the best answer is B centriole because centrioles are only present in animal cells Therefore, since they are asking which structure is only found in eukaryotic animal cells, the answer is B. Centriole. Question 23. Which letter on the logarithmic scale corresponds to the size of a typical prokaryote? A key thing you should remember is that prokaryotes have a size range from 0.5 to 5 micrometers. Therefore, if you go through the answers A, B, C and D, the best answer is B. Because B points to 1 micrometer which is within the limit of 0.5 to 5 micrometer hence B is the answer the other answers A, C and D are out of the range of 0.5 to 5 micrometer question 25 which calculation is used to find the actual length of an organelle from an image we have done multiple questions based on magnification and its formula therefore you should be able to rearrange the formula to find the actual length or the actual size since magnification is nothing but image size upon actual size, once you rearrange the formula, you would get actual size is equal to image size upon magnification. Hence, the best answer is A. Image size divided by magnification. Question 26. The diagram shows the ultrastructure of a typical animal cell. Which structure synthesizes and transports lipids? Lipid synthesis is done in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Therefore, if you go through the answers A, B, C and D, the best choice is C, as C represents the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The other structures represent different organelles which carry out different functions. Therefore, the answer is C. Next question. A light microscope is used to observe two structures that are 200 nanometers apart. How far apart are the structures when the magnification is changed from 40 to 400? Although the magnification changes, the actual distance that separates the two structures would not change because magnification just enlarges the image size compared to the actual size. However, the distance between two structures would not change no matter the magnification. Hence, if the two structures are 200 nanometers apart, 
they will continue to be 200 nanometers apart no matter the magnification change. Therefore, the answer is C. Question 28. Where are cisternae found in a cell? 1. Endoplasmic reticulum 2. Golgi body 3. Mitochondrion A key point you should remember is that cisternae are membrane-bound tube-like structures that are only present in the endoplasmic reticulum as well as the Golgi body. It is not found in a mitochondrion. Therefore, the best answer is A. 1 and 2 only. Question 29 some features of cells are listed. One cell wall, two cell surface membrane, three ribosomes. Which features can be found in plant cells and in prokaryotic cells? Now both these structures do have a cell wall, although the substance that makes the cell wall is different. They do have a cell surface membrane as well, and they do have ribosomes. Both plant cells and prokaryotic cells have ribosomes in the form of 70S. Therefore, the best answer is A, 1, 2, and 3. Next question. The diagram shows an eyepiece graticule and part of a stage micrometer scale as seen using 100 magnification. How is the value in micrometer of one eyepiece graticule unit calculated? The first question we solved was also based on calibrating the eyepiece graticule as well as the stage micrometer scale. Over here also we have to calibrate it first. An eyepiece graticule will have 100 divisions from 0 to 100. That 100 divisions is equal to 0.1 millimeter of the stage micrometer scale. Therefore, 100 graticule divisions is equal to 0.1 millimeter. Hence, in order to find in micrometer of one eyepiece graticule unit, you have to convert the 0.1 millimeter to micrometer. And how do you do that? You multiply by 1000. 0.1 millimeter multiplied by 1000 will give you the measurement in micrometers, and that is for 100 graticule divisions. How do you find for one eyepiece graticule unit? Well, you divide by 100 in the end. Therefore, the best answer is C. You multiply 0.1 by 1000 in order to convert it to micrometer since they're asking how is the value in micrometer of one eyepiece graticule unit calculated. Once you get that answer, that answer is equal to 100 divisions. But they're asking for one eyepiece graticule unit or one eyepiece graticule division. Therefore, 100 graticule divisions corresponds to 0.1 times 1000. One will correspond to 0.1 times 1000 divided by 100 and that is how you find out for one IPS graticule unit. Therefore, the answer is C. Question 31. Which of these statements about light microscopy are correct? 1. The greater the resolution, the greater the detail that can be seen. 2. The greater the magnification of a light microscope, the greater the detail that can be seen. 3. Increase in the magnification of a light microscope up to its limit of resolution allows more detail to be seen. 4. The shorter the wavelength of light used in light microscope, the greater the detail that can be seen. First of all, a key thing you should realize is that greater detail is related to resolution only. And if you go to the answers 1, 2, 3 and 4, statement 4 is correct. The shorter the wavelength, the greater the detail because shorter the wavelength, higher the resolution. Both the wavelength and the resolution, they have an opposite correlation. If the wavelength decreases, the resolution increases. If the wavelength increases, the resolution decreases. Since they have mentioned shorter the wavelength, yes, greater the detail that can be seen. 4 is correct. 3. Increase in the magnification up to its limit of resolution allows more detail to be seen, yes. Because if you keep on magnifying till you reach limit of resolution, you will be able to view more cell structures. Therefore, 3 is correct. 2. The greater the magnification, the greater the detail that can be seen, that is incorrect because it is not linked to resolution. If there is no mentioning of resolution, greater detail that can be seen is incorrect because greater detail is related to resolution only. Statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 1. The greater the resolution of light microscope, the greater the detail that can be seen, yes. Again, because greater the resolution, greater the viewing of cell structures or greater the detail. Therefore, the answer is B. 1, 3 and 4 only. Next question. Which type of cell contains the highest proportion of cell structures bound by a single membrane? A. Ciliated epithelial cell B. Goblet cell C. Red blood cell D. Smooth muscle cell Obviously, the best answer over here is goblet cell. Why? Because goblet cell contains secretory vesicles to produce mucus. If you recall unit of gas exchange, goblet cells, they produce mucus and production of mucus is linked with secretory vesicles. Therefore, it will have the most structures bound by a cell membrane. 
Hence the answer is B. Goblet cell. This is the final question of this paper. The diagram shows a stage micrometer with division 0.1 mm apart viewed through an eyepiece containing a graticule. What is the area of the field of view of the microscope at this magnification? The area of the field of view corresponds to the area of a circle because the field of view represents a circle and since they are asking the area of field of view that will be to find out the area of this given circle. And how do you find the area of a circle? Well the formula is pi r square. In order to calculate the area you need to find out the radius of this given field of view or the given circle. And how do you do that? Well the stage micrometer each has division 0.1 millimeter apart. And as we did before, we had to calibrate the stage micrometer as well as the eyepiece containing a graticule. From 10 to 50, there are 40 divisions. And 40 divisions will correspond to 0.1 millimeter or 100 micrometers. Hence, 40 divisions corresponds to 100 micrometers. Therefore, one division will be equal to 100 divided by 40. That is 2.5 micrometers. Now, what is the radius? Well, the radius is from 0 to 50. And from 0 to 50, there are 50 divisions. And since one division is equal to 2.5 micrometers, 50 divisions will be equal to 50 times 2.5. Therefore, the answer is 125 micrometers. Because 50 times 2.5 will give you 125 as a radius. And once you get that radius, you substitute that value into the formula area is equal to pi r square. Therefore, pi into r, which is 125, into 125. Because r squared means the given radius times the same radius 125 into 125 into pi and if you go to the answers a b c and d the best answer over here is c pi into 125 into 125 which gives you the answer as which gives you the answer as 4.9 into 10 to the power 4 micrometer squared therefore the answer is c that is the end of this episode if you do want me to drop the other episodes of this series soon Please do leave a like and let me know down in the comments section below which topic I should be doing next. Thank you squad for sticking by. Stay tuned for more.